Hey, Tab Nation. It's me, Tom. Today we're going to be doing something that's not really about coding, but it's very helpful when it comes to running your scripts automatically. I did a video in the past where I show you how to add your scripts to the startup folder. That's still a great way to do it if you want, but there is something that's built into Windows, at least Windows 10 and 11. I'm pretty sure it's in a lot of the older vision versions. I'm pretty sure it goes like way back, but I cannot confirm that as I do not have those operating systems right now, and I'm being lazy and don't want to Google it. So it's called Windows Task Scheduler. This thing is awesome compared to using the startup folder for a few reasons. The startup folder, you put a script in there and maybe one day you're like, wait, why is this script running again? Like, what was its purpose? It, you can't really tell unless you can figure it out on your own. You can't really add a description or anything like that. So that could be annoying down the line if you just completely forget why you had it in there in the first place. The other reason why is because with the startup folder, your script's going to just start up as soon as you start your computer every single time. But what if you have a script that even though your computer has already started up, maybe you only want it to run at 1 o'clock every day versus right when you start up. Task Scheduler is awesome because you can have a lot more flexibility than you can in your startup folder. So what we're going to do is click our start menu there. Obviously, you can only see half of mine just because I do not have it full screen. Oops, clicked out of that. And we're just going to type in task. And you're just going to see task scheduler right here. We're going to click that. And there it is. Let me enlarge this just a little bit there. All right, that looks good. So this is kind of old school looking for some odd reason. I don't know why they haven't really updated it. You know, the text looks very blah. It's not like formatted. It just, it's a very old looking GUI for some reason. But hey, I guess if it's perfect, don't change it. So over here on the right, we got this little actions column. We're just going to do create basic task right here. So we're going to click this. Now, for some odd reason, it always lags for me. That was actually pretty good right there. But sometimes my computer and my mouse will suddenly lag for like five seconds. I have no idea why. I have a pretty powerful computer. So it's kind of weird to me. If you guys know the reason why, definitely let me know in the comments below because that's kind of bizarre to me. But hey, I can deal with five seconds. So here we're going to create a basic task. So what do we want to name it? We're just going to name it test for video. Obviously, whatever you want. Now, here's what I was talking about with the description. In case I ever forget why is this program running every day, I can go back and I can see the description of, you know, oh, that's why I'm doing this. Duh. So we'll just add a description. This is for testing in a video for YouTube. Whoops. There we go. So, yeah, add as much detail or as little as you want to each his own. We're going to go ahead, push next. Now, here's where uh, stuff gets kind of fun of, you know, what you want it to do. Do you want it to run daily, weekly, monthly, one time? You know, maybe you want it, this program to run a month from now, but that's the only time you need to do it. Maybe it's like, hey, don't forget you have a dentist appointment today. Maybe that's all your script is, is a message box to remind you. I mean, obviously, you should probably be using a calendar for that. So that was a crappy example, but whatever. Uh, after that, the... Uh, action will disappear after that, won't run again. Uh, this is kind of like the startup folder, when the computer starts, so blah, blah, blah. When I log in or when a specific event is logged. So there's a lot of stuff you can play around with here. Most likely, you're probably going to want to go with daily. I, I figure that's what most people are going to be doing is just having it daily. So we're going to go ahead and press next. Now, <clears throat> we can have it when it starts. So like I was saying, can we have it start at one o'clock? Maybe we want it to run at midnight or something like that. So just play around, put the start, you know, when when is this gonna start? Maybe you want it to run daily, but you don't want it to really start until next week because you're going on vacation this week or whatever. Choose your time if you want. Uh, reoccurring every day, you know, one day, just leave it however you want. Once again, just play around with however you want it to do. We're going to go ahead, once we get our settings happy and situated, we're going to push next. And what are we going to do? 
this one I thought was kind of cool. Probably most of you guys are going to use start a program. You want to run your auto hockey or whatever program. You can also send an email or display a message. But as you might notice, it says it's been depreciated. So I'm not sure if those even work anymore. I have not tested those out. If you know, let me know. They might just they might still work, but just not very well, or they might not work at all. If they didn't work at all, I figured like they would have gone ahead and just removed these. So they're probably just not very good. So they might not be very reliable. So test it before you decide to trust it. So we're going to start a program. Go ahead and press next. Now what program or as it says that script, that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to push browse. And just find your script wherever it is. Mine are usually on my desktop for my videos, so I'll just pick a random one. Uh, good morning, actually. Uh, this is actually a script that I have. It's just a bunch of run commands. I run it, and it auto starts uh, a bunch of websites for me in the order I like them in the tabs for Chrome. So it's just like a bunch of runs. So I, I just double click this every morning. But maybe I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to push open. There's the file path. You can browse or you can just copy and paste it, you know, whatever you want. So we're good there. That's all we need. We're going to go to next. And then we're just going to kind of get a little bit of an overview here. We're going to double check everything. Everything looks great. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to push finish. And we're going to wait. And where to go? Somewhere around here. Okay, active task. Where is it? Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong folder. We're up here, it says task scheduler library. You're going to click on that, and it should be in here somewhere. Uh, yep, there it is. Test for video. So there we go. So it's saying it's ready. You know, it's ready to run whenever. Uh, it's scheduled for the 19th. And it just has a breakdown here. You know, like I said, if you ever forget, why is this program running? You can go right here and go, oh, this is uh, for testing in the video for YouTube. Um, so here's all the stuff. You can kind of go through here. What's the action it performs, conditions, settings, all that kind of stuff. History is disabled. Um, that's fine. We don't really care about that. But over here, you can also see if we want to go ahead and run it in disable. So I'm going to disable this because I do not need this running every single day with the settings I have at least. And as you see, it just changed it to disable, so we're good. You can also right, right click on it and go ahead and just delete it. Are you sure? Yes. And yeah, that is how this works. If you have any questions about this or want me to kind of expand on it, there's obviously a lot more functionality as you see over here. You can import tasks, uh, create basic tasks, create tasks. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can kind of do, but that's what the main use of this program is for. Definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you guys out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.